Hello everyone. Welcome to another Power BI related tutorial by Slides Code. And in this tutorial, we are learning about what is a trend line in Power BI. We will also learn how to create trend line. So the data set that we are going to use is this Canada per capita income data set, where we have year on one axis and per capita income on another axis. So year wise, this is data from 1970 to 2016 and what was the per capita income for each year that is written on column B. So if we will plot a line graph or a scatter plot between them, then we, with the help of a trend line, which is a visual tool that represents the general direction or pattern of data over time in a chart, such as a scatter chart, line chart or a bar chart so this is where you can use trend line it is typically a straight or curved line that best fits the data point showing the underlying trend of the data set what does a trend line do in general first thing it does is highlighting the patterns a trend line helps to identify whether the data is increasing or decreasing for example here when years are increasing, is the per capita income increasing or decreasing or is staying constant over a specific period of time or date range. It simplifies complex data. By focusing on the overall movement, a trend line smoothens out fluctuations and noise in the data and making it easier to understand the direction of trends you will understand whether in future it is going to increase or decrease. It is also, it also helps for forecasting. You know, trend line can provide a basis for making predictions about future data points by extending the trend line. It helps in correlation analysis. So for example, in a scatter plot, a trend line helps to visualize the relationship between two variables, indicating whether they are positively, negatively or not correlated. First, let's create a trend line and then we will probably read it once more. So about this data set. So we have got this data set from this Kaggle URL and this data set is for predicting income per capita for Canada is taken from website. That's what they have written data.worldbank.org and the data set contains two columns namely year and per capita income and the data set for predicting income per capita for Canada as example. So this is the acknowledgement they are giving. So and we have already seen the data. Now first thing that we are going to do we will get the data here in Power BI. So simply click here since the file is Excel file we will simply click Excel. We will load the file. And once you will load the file, you have to check whether the column names and headers are read properly. So it is all properly read. We will simply load the data. No need to transform anything. It is already clean. And now it is loading. Now this data is loaded here. And you can see both variables are numerical. So this uh, sigma or summation sign is coming. Now the first thing to do is to create a scatter plot or a line plot, plot where we can do the trend analysis or apply trend analysis. So we will select a scatter plot and in the scatter plot we are going to select x and y axis. Okay. So on x axis because year is the independent variable. So year is like that variable which is increasing and we have to predict whether when year is increasing whether the per capita income in US dollars is increasing or not. So we will put year to x axis and per capita income to y axis. Just a minute. Yeah. Because it is summarizing the data, that means it is showing a sum of year, sum of per capita income. So one thing that we have to do is don't summarize. And 
don't summarize the per capita income also so now for every year we have per capita income we can go to the visual x axis and we can make the title everything a little bit bigger so year and values also a little bit bigger so that we can see so you have this bold so now at least we can see what is happening here right and similarly on y axis also we will change the value size and title size it's your choice this is optional whether you want to do it or not but this gives us a good indication what is happening actually so now all these data points that you are seeing all these scatter points that you are seeing they represent let's say for 1970 what is per capita income so if you will hover over any point so it is year 1988 and what is the per capita income at that for that particular year now the next thing that you have to do is you have to go here so there are three tabs one is add data to your visual okay one is format your visual so we can add more data to our visual and third is add further you know analysis to your visual or analysis to your visual and here you will see for this combination whatever will be available like whatever further analysis will be available you will be able to see that and here you can see trend line is there if you will simply turn it on you will see a trend line okay and this is what a trend line does now let's read it once again to understand a trend line helps to identify whether the data is increasing decreasing or staying constant over a specific period of time you know we have to create a visual like a scatter plot or line chart with numerical or time series data select the visual and go to analysis plane pane and add a trend line what we did did here and where you will explain you have the option to you know change its color everything is something that you can do you can increase its transparency decrease its transparency whether it's a solid line or a dashed line or a dotted line this is all you can do okay so here is a explanation of the trend line in this data set a trend line applied to this data set would highlight the general movement of canada's per capita income in usd over the years as we discussed providing insights into growth plateaus or declines so general trends are from 1970 to 1981 a steady upward trend reflecting a period of economic growth with per capita income increasing from 3400 to 9400 you can see here now in 1980 to 1992 slower growth and some dips you know income growth flattens with minor fluctuations due to factors like global economic slowdown in the early 1980s and 1990s recession then from 1993 and 2008 strong upward trend you can see here and uh, this is strong upward trend has as income rises from 15000 8000 to 37400 likely reflecting global economic growth and a booming resource based economy in canada and in 2009 a noticeable dip due to the global financial crisis reducing per capita income from 37400 to 32700 that you can see here a dip here and from 2010 to 2013 recovery with income peaking at 42600 by 2013 reflecting post crisis recovery and economic stability and from 2014 to 2016 decline again with income dropping to 34200 in 2016 potentially reflecting impacts of falling oil prices a major export for canada and economic adjustments so i have made all the key patterns and insights here so everything that you can see obviously this is this is something that you can see from the data and 
this is what our general trends and what the trend line reveals in context this, this is what the general trends say you know the scatter plot is saying the trend line reveals is growth phases the long term trend is generally upward reflecting growth in per capita income over 46 years economic cycles periodic dips in the trend line indicate economic recession or challenges such as early 1980s, early 90s and 2009. Resource dependence, the sharp rise in the mid 2000s and subsequent drop in 2014-16 highlight Canada's reliance on energy sector that is oil export. And inflation and recovery, while nominal income increased, factoring in inflation would provide further insights into real income growth. And this is a simple visual representation. So these are some, some assumptions that they are saying. And obviously based on the domain knowledge, based on what this data set is, and based on different type of factors like political factor, economic factor, geographical factors, you will be able to predict or you will be able to you know, get these type of insights from the trend analysis. So this was a simple demonstration of how to apply trend analysis and see whether the overall trend is going upwards or downwards in Power BI. So again, this is not important for you if you are just learning Power BI, but I want to show you a simple thing. We have loaded the same data in Tableau here. This is Tableau public. You go to sheet, you drag year here, per capita income here, get a graph like this you say we want a scatter plot you see it like this then go to analytics tab and in power bi also you go to analysis tab okay which is a separate tab there you will see bunch of different models and things where you have trend line when you will apply and hover to your trend line it say shows you y is equal to mx plus c which is equation of every line where m is the slope okay so if you compare this equation so whenever you get a line or a trend line what you have to find is this is your m value which is your slope of the line and this is the intercept value where the line touches the y axis okay here in in our case y axis is income and x axis is year so let's say this is a trend line wherever it touches the y axis or the income axis is your intercept value so this is y is equal to m x plus c or mx plus b whatever you want to call it where b is the intercept x is the slope and y in our case is the per capita income x in our case is the year b is intercept that we have to find m is slope that we have to find so if we know these values then for any year you know in this equation let's say you know m you know b and in this equation you put any value of x then you will be able to get the value of per capita income let's say you want to find it for 2018 so just enter it as 2018 and we'll be able to find that in uh, tableau r squared is like accuracy of the model right 0.89 so how to find this value in power bi this tells uh, tableau tells is directly but in power bi what you can do you can create a measure so i have created a simple measure here i will explain it to you this is a dax formula so in dax and we already have a complete you know series for dax where we have explained almost every dax function every important dax function so you can go back in the series and learn dax but if you just want to understand you will be able to understand easily so here we have used several formulas like divide sum x average some x average so what we are doing here is slope is basically 
calculated using this formula covariance between x y and variance of x so to calculate the slope you first have to find covariance of x and y and find variance of x which is here and then divide them that's why the first thing the first function that we are using is divide and in divide we are using this formula to find covariance of x and y x in our case is year and per capita income is y so with the help of this formula you will be able to find covariance so in sum x the first parameter that you put is your is the name of your data set which we have renamed it to data then in the second parameter we are putting data year minus average data year and we are multiplying it with data per capita income and subtracting it with average of data per capita income so with the help of this you will be able to find the covariance of x and y then for calculating variance of x which is year you will write some x obviously first parameter as data then data year minus average data year squared so with the help of this we will apply squared so this way you are dividing two different you know parameter two different argument and one is covariance of x and y and one is variance of x and this will give you the slope which is coming as 828.47 so if you will see we have simply applied this formula and just for verification here it is 828.46 you can see here so 828.465 so obviously approximated it is 828.46 so this is how you can calculate this we also have formula for intercept that is calculating b in y is equal to mx plus b let's change the name here and i will provide all these dax formulas in the data set link in the description of this video so intercept will be average of per capita income minus slope into average of data per year okay data year so what whatever is the average year so let me give you the formula first so b or intercept is average of y minus m multiplied by average of x we have already found m which is slope in our case and average of y and average of x are easy to find okay average of y is average of per capita income and minus m into average of x with the help of these formulas and we can verify also so we have slope here and we'll put another card okay so let's put another card in the visual and here we will find intercept just drag it which is minus 1.63 m okay which you can verify from here also you can see minus 63 into 10 to the power of minus 6 or 6 sorry so this is how you can find out different type of parameters related to a trend line and you can do all of that in power bi so please keep following the series for learning more related to power bi